Wednesday, 6th of June, here at a truck stop camping. So, you can see, we got a nice breakfast here with our English friends. Mm -hmm. But um, behind us, there's a bit of tyre changing going on. <laughs> so, but, um, it's okay, well, it was a good night here, nice place to camp. Got about 28 kilometers today to Esron, so sure we'll be back on the bikes. Try and find a hotel there. <laughs> okay, it's on the road again now. Just leaving our service station camping. So, uh, got a short ride now downhill to Ezerum. We'll try and find a hotel. But, uh, that was a nice night here. It's a coincidence to bump into our friends John and Fern again, the English couple that we met the night before. Also in the other petrol station. So but, uh, that was nice. Now we'll uh, cycle in the nice weather here today, nice and sunny, and uh, head into Ezerum. Now we're entering Israel. 423,000. We're about six kilometers from the center. You see over there, ski priests. A lot of ski resorts in this area as well in the mountains here. Okay, first signpost we've seen for cars. That's the next destination after Israel. And when we get there, we're really close to Georgia. Okay, just entering the center of Israel. This is a town that fell a long, long way away a few weeks ago, and now we're here. So, uh, to find a hotel now, not too far from the Iranian embassy here, so we uh, see what we can find nearby. Oh, it's a room, that looked a long way away. Yeah, yeah. The same because when we was home, we locked in the med. When we are come to Cappadocia and when we was in Cheshire, so it was new gold and that was green in Cappadocia. But now was now we and so we have a new gold was Esherum and after Esherum we have a new gold again and that is cars. Mm -hmm. So that is the next step. Yeah. The next uh, thing is find a hotel and find some visas. This is the hotel we found here, Hotel Yeti Happy. So, Lunch time now, so we're just trying to find some something quick to eat, but not easy when this is a term that's uh, practicing Ramadan. So everything's closed. <laughs> we should find a small shop to find some bread. We'll go back to our room and eat that there because there's no place to sit and eat here in this town. So this is our room here in. Here's room, we managed to find some food from a little shop. <laughs> Wasn't that easy in the midst here of Ramadan in this town? Well, the towns we've been to in Ezekam, we didn't notice that much that it was actually Ramadan. People were eating all the time, but here they don't. <laughs> so we'll sit here in our room and eat today. So it's a very nice, nice bread, and we have some cheese, mm. bananas, very good. Mm. Yeah, and we're on nice. the cherries. Yeah. Mm. Perfect. Okay, we're just uh, inside our hotel now here in Hezerum. We're just going to see if we can find the Iranian consulate and then uh, see if we can pick up Meadow and Jamie's visas for Iran now. It'd be uh, good if we could do that today. It should close at 5 o'clock, I think, so see if we can get there before it closes. If not, we'll just come back tomorrow. So let's see. Let's see if we can find it now. Okay, we could have spotted the Iranian flag. Should be the embassy here. So, go and see if they're open. 
We're just as bridge close today, so we have to come back in the morning at half past eight. So never mind. That's what we plan to do in the first place. This is sign they open, but the men told us they're not, so we'll wait till tomorrow then. Maybe it's something to do with Ramadan. They're all sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so. This is the 14th century madrasa. Now it's used as a museum of a medieval weapons and the Islamic art. Something to eat over there. She's a uh... the town of Ezra. Here, I think they they follow uh, Ramadan quite strictly. So during the day today, we couldn't find anywhere at all to get anything to eat. <laughs> Not even a glass of tea or anything. They don't drink anything all day. So all the restaurants were closed. But now, uh, seven o'clock, you can see here the restaurant is just completely full of people. The tables are all laid before we arrived, as we saw also in Sivas. So people are pouring into the restaurant now to get something to eat, but they haven't eaten anything since three o'clock this morning. So, yeah. This is the, the town where we've uh, felt Ramadan the most. Uh, other towns you could get, still get something to eat during the day, but not, not here. This is a very conservative uh, Islamic city in Turkey. Did you find something? Yes, we to order some food with. Pointing a bit and I speak Turkish and we speak English and a bit of pointing and everything, but yeah. Okay. Looks, Looks good. good. Looks good. Well done. <laughs> so everybody's full, now it's time for the tea. They try to go around. <laughs> Said kebab was absolutely fantastic. Uh, yeah, so the Everybody finished eating and waiting and came out with them messing with a train full of giant glasses. Um, and down to all the tables and gave people chai. So that must just be standard, that's what you get out of the meal. Yeah, it's a frenzy of activity in here now. It seems to have quietened down a little bit now. <laughs> we can begin to see everyone are smiling and the uh, heads are beginning to be life in them. <laughs> <laughs> You can see. Today, everybody has seemed drained of energy today. But, uh, of course, everybody is following Ramadan. But uh, now, the, now the energy is coming back, I can see. <laughs> the thing is, we were the first to turn up. Now <laughs> the restaurant is empty. We haven't finished our tea yet. And, uh... Yeah, and I have actually, uh, maybe you don't know how it is because I just have been in the clipper. Yeah, how do you say the hairdresser? So I have the new. You can see. Oh, a new hair. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Straight, but never mind. And that cost 10 kuna. And tomorrow I'm gonna go and get a face if I can see it. Gonna go back under my eyes. Just have to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we just have to um, get out of the restaurant and uh, yes, and it was very good food and dessert, lots of good food in the Turkish restaurant and uh, actually out of our room you can see a little big bin filled some little bit London. Now we are coming to London because out of our hotel it's a big bin. <laughs> It's a mini version of the Ben Maybe a little cup. There's people drinking tea there. Tea here. Tea okay. there. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. There, 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 there. We've experienced Ramadan so much that uh, basically no food at all in the town. And all of a sudden there's food everywhere. But, uh, yeah. Okay, that was the end of today. Tomorrow we have to get up early and go and uh, pick up Meadow and Jamie's visa. Hope the embassy is open and uh, see if we can get that done. And then I think we just need to rest because we all look a bit tired. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So basically the plan, and I think there's two, uh, some buildings we can go look at tomorrow, twin towers and things like this, that should be interesting. So that was it for today, see you tomorrow in Israel. <laughs>